An air of celebration at a normal Sunday service, the last one before this evangelical Lutheran congregation in Moscow officially gets its church back. Lutherans are a religious minority here in Russia. Most in the community have German roots. Their ancestors came to Russia centuries ago on the invitation of the czars who promised land and religious freedom. But later, the Soviet government persecuted Lutherans and seized church property, including this cathedral. The community, led by Archbishop Dietrich Brauer, has been using it again since the fall of the Soviet Union, but so far it has remained Russian government property. It's like someone started living in your apartment, and it's not yours anymore. They let you turn up, but the whole time you have the feeling that it isn't yours. At any point, it could end up in government hands or other hands. But now it's ours, it feels like home again. In the officially atheist Soviet Union, many churches were repurposed. From 1937, this cathedral was used as a movie theater and a film studio. By then, all Lutheran churches across the country had been closed and many of their pastors arrested and shot. Here at Vidyenske Cemetery in Moscow, long known as the city's German cemetery, the scars of that persecution are still tangible. Many gravestones here were neglected and destroyed. After the Second World War, the Lutheran community struggled with the additional stigma of its German origins, often associated with the Nazi enemy. The return of our church to some extent restores historical justice, historical truth, but only partially. I hope that this will just be the beginning of a new stage in the development of our country and our community. The number of churches that were destroyed and can no longer be returned, that's a crime, of course. The fact that the cathedral is being returned to us now is good news. This church belongs to the congregation. It belongs to the people that come here and look after it. Now the congregation is getting a church to call home. And since it's in the capital, they hope this transfer will set a precedent and that the Russian state will return other churches as well.